Let's talk about all the crazy enterprise AI updates and two new open source models from this week. The most exciting news is probably Meta's smart glasses. These are the first smart glasses that are built and shipping with Meta AI in them. So, you know, let's say you're grilling with your family and you want to know how long you need to be cooking that chicken for. Or let's say you just want to settle a debate, you know, some trivia as you're going out through the world. Your Ray-Ban Meta glasses and they'll respond and, and, and get you with the answer. You are going to be able to live stream to your friends and followers from your glasses. Meta also introduced many other AI products and features like AI stickers, image editing with AI, AI assistant powered by Llama 2, and 28 AI characters. We built some AIs you can interact with and then partnered with awesome people to play some of them to make them even more fun. Naomi Osaka as Tamika, proving it's cool to geek out. Amazon released a new fully managed generative AI service, Bedrock, that offers a choice of leading foundation models, supports model customization with your data and more. Many people are curious about pricing. Philip Schmidt created a Google Sheet comparing pricing and offerings from different providers. Looks like GPT-4 is the most expensive. Bedrock offers competitive pricing depends on the model. In a related news, Amazon is also investing up to $4 billion in Anthropic to develop and bring Anthropic models and model customization and fine-tuning features to Bedrock. Cloudflare launched an end-to-end -end platform to deploy AI at scale. This includes Workers AI, an AI inference as a service platform, a new vector database, Vectorize, and AI gateway for observing traffic and managing cost. Cloudflare also announced partnership with NVIDIA to provide low latency AI experience, partnership with Meta to make Llama 2 available globally, partnership with Microsoft to deploy models anywhere regardless of the environment, partnership with Databricks to bring MLflow capabilities to developers, and finally, partnership with Hugging Face to deploy Hugging Face models quickly and easily. It was also a crazy week for OpenAI. OpenAI released DALI 3, which delivers significant improvements over DALI 2, and is also integrated with ChatGPT. When prompted with an idea, ChatGPT will help you generate detailed prompts for DALI 3. ChatGPT can also now browse the web and even see, hear, and speak. Users can have voice conversations with ChatGPT. We want to hear a bedtime story. Tell us a story about the super duper sunflower hedgehog named Larry. Larry was a unique hedgehog unlike any other. He had bright sunflower petals instead of spines. Residing in Meadowville, Larry spread joy and color wherever he rolled. And users can chat about images. People now can use ChatGPT to build software from drawing, recreate an UI design, make suggestions for interior design, and even break down a diagram of a human cell for a ninth grader. OpenAI is seeking new valuation of up to $19 billion. It's just insane. Finally, two open source AI models this week. Mistral AI, a French AI startup that raised $113 million seed found in June, announced their very first open source model, Mistral 7B. It outperforms Llama 2 13B on all benchmarks and approaches Code Llama 7B performance on code. It has faster inference and handles longer sequences. I put together a demo on Colab if you're interested in checking it out. Alibaba released Queen models. Their performance are reported to be significantly better than other models across benchmarks. People say it's the most powerful open source model for its size. Looks like open source models are getting smaller and more powerful. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.